Hello everyone, welcome back to the Warren's Communication and Network Convergence class. So this week, this is the second week, I will explain to you about the NGN policy challenges. So last week we already talked about the, what is NGN and the, the architecture of NGN. Maybe I will give you a little bit of overview. NGN is defined by, by the ITUT, it's a packet based network able to provide service, including telecommunication service and able to make use of multiple broadband, quality of service, enable transport technologies and in which service related functions are independent from underlying transport related technologies. It offers unrestricted access by user to different service provider. It supports general, generalized mobility, which will allow consistent and provision of service to user. It may be there, uh, help your memory a little bit. So uh, for the NGN policy regulatory, there is two divided into two, which is the first is the service. It is supervised by the KPI, abbreviated as Komisi Penyiaran Indonesia. It is an independent broadcasting agency in Indonesia that functions as a regulating body for broadcasting companies in the country. And for the network, it is supervised by the Chen Postal by the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology. So next is the NGN policy in Indonesia. For the general policy is for the awareness of NGN, collaboration among stakeholder, adjustment of license structure, consistent competition policy, migration strategy of NGN, including timing strategy, explore government incentive, local content policy of NGN, and the implementing USO. And for the technical regulation, it is interconnection and tariff, numbering, quality of service, security, standardization, and interoperability, and migration of IPv4 to IPv6. So there is some issue in the NGN policy, which I'm going to divide into three. The first is economic, the second is access, and the third is interconnection. So for the uh, NGN policy issue in, in, in economy, so the price is lower, but as the price is lower, the quality is decreased. Next is the Indian policy access issue. In the city area, as you can see, or in the popular area, there are 5G and 4G, and, but in rural area, there are only 3G and 4G, which uh, NGN use 5G, so rural area will be hard to get the NGN. Okay, this is the graph of, uh, that happened in France in 2007, so you can see. The axis represent the bandwidth potential or the bandwidth of the network. The x axis represent total inhabitants or population located. As you can see, the, the copper or the home telephone graphic line reach 100%. It means that the same home telephone can be accessed in all places in one country. Compared to the FTTH, only 40% population in France can access fiber net service. Next is the NGN policy interconnection issue. So uh, generally, we use switch network, but for NGN, uh, it use IP-based network. So it is hard to switch uh, to switch switch network to IP-based network. So what is the sol solution? For the solution, uh, I will divide into four. First is the adjustment to economic regulation. So uh, Competition uh, is the primary tool to develop adequate access and foster innovation, investment, and consumer benefit in communication markets. Then, to ensure that all customers of a service provider have contact with all other subscribers, international policies are necessary. And then, network unbinding policy, where network users pay at cost. And then, uh, incentive to the provider that develop internet broadband networks to boost growth in broadband subscriber. And the second is fiberization. So to solve this problem, an investment incentive in fiber connection or fiberization is needed. Uh, the government should support provider or operator to develop fiberization. 
so people in rural areas can access the fiber network service. Then the government also provides access to right of way, ducks and poles, reducing barriers for municipal authorization and ensuring duck investment for minimum maintenance and etc. Next is the fiber to the home access of FTTH access. As mentioned before in France, the coverage for FTTH is only to about 40% of the population. <laughs> Since NGN require high bandwidth capacity, it requires new technologies that has this capability such as FTTH 4G or 5G. The government needs to maximize the amount of the population that can access these technologies so they can also experience NGN. So some policies can be made to also help with this like USO. Speaking of which, USO, which is the universal service obligation, means that the operator provides a minimum service, which includes voice, shuttle, or telephone service to all users, regardless of their geographical location within the national territory. At an affordable price, even though there are many may be significant difference in the cost of supply. In other words, USO is like a CSR or corporate, corporate social responsibility. The company should provide several funds which provide to the society or user with a certain condition. Okay, that's all for this week. Thank you for watching.